Hello everyone, I'm Suresh and I will introduce to you our Advanced Surface Process Simulation module. To design a thin film process, it could be an ALD, ALE or any of these other processes, one would want to know which reactant molecules work best for a given substrate and at what thermodynamic conditions, like at what temperature and at what reactant pressure. This can be done in two stages. In the first stage, we can do a thermochemical analysis. For each precursor substrate combination, we can compare the reactant and product state energetics, essentially their free energy difference, and find the best molecule. This is reactant screening, so this doesn't require the very expensive kinetic information. To that end, we have developed a thermochemistry analyzer from scratch. The process that's chosen from this can further be studied using surface process simulation module, which we will cover later. Now let us look at the thermochemistry analyzer, which is entirely a initial based. The basic functionality is to compare multiple possible reactions in a process and to find the most favorable ones at a given condition, basically screening reactions. Let's consider two reactions, R1 and R2, and we compute their reaction free energy as a function of temperature. At temperature T1, both reactions are equally probable. Below T1, R1 will be favorable, and above T1, R2 will be favorable. This is the type of conclusions that we can derive from thermochemistry analyzer. Let's look at an example. We look at self-limiting temperature window for thermal ALE of hafnia and zirconia based on the literature discussed below. So there are two reactions, an H reaction and a self-limiting reaction. In the H reaction, we start with the bulk oxide and bring in hydrogen fluoride gas. This results in the formation of two gas phase byproducts, a fluoride of the metal and a water molecule. In the self-limiting reaction, we start with the surface of the oxide and bring in hydrogen fluoride gas, which results in surface passivation of the oxide and some of the oxygen atoms on the surface are removed as water molecules. Now let's see how we can compute this reaction in quantum ATK. We open the nanolab and we find thermochemistry analyzer here. And that gives you this GUI. In here, there is a thermochemistry database. And you click this and you will be greeted with this GUI where thermochemistry data for molecules, bulk and surfaces can be preloaded the user can themselves load the data here. Now let's try to compute a reaction. So we press this add reaction button and give it a name, R1. Now we will add reactant molecules from the thermochemistry database. So hafnia bulk and HF gas. And as products, hafnium fluoride and water. We have to balance the reaction now. Once we did that, we could see the free energy profile below in the plot window. Now we can include a reactant pressure. So we choose a value of 0.2 tars. And for the product pressure, we can choose 0.01 tar. Now we can also include or exclude the rotational, translational and vibrational components of the free energy of the molecules. If you choose to exclude one of these contributions for one of the molecules, you have to do the same for the others as well to be consistent. Now we can repeat this process for both H reactions of hafnia, self-limiting reactions of hafnia, H reactions of zirconia, self-limiting reactions of zirconia, and get the plots. For hafnia, the two curves intersect at 645 Kelvin, and for zirconia, they intersect at 551 Kelvin. So above 645 Kelvin, both materials will be etched by HF and below 551 Kelvin, self-limiting reaction will proceed on both materials. Between the two temperatures, there is a selectivity window where hafnia will self-limit but zirconia will etch.